Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Everywhere you look, industries are making the shift to greener energy and energy efficient approaches. The green energy transition is here, and according to Clean Energy Canada, the sector's on track to employ 559,400 Canadians by 2030. We see a lot of concern around one industry, the oil and gas industry, and what's going to happen to that through the energy transition. But there isn't a coherent story about the clean energy sector, whether it's energy efficient jobs in retrofits or it's companies creating low carbon technologies or energy saving technologies or whether it's clean transportation. Clean Energy Canada's report, The Fast Lane, Tracking the Energy Revolution, says those new jobs will be in green buildings, electric transportation, and maintaining clean energy projects. When people think of clean energy, they think of solar and wind, maybe hydro, but really the bulk of the jobs are in wasting less energy. And, you know, wasting less energy is a good thing. One area they looked at is transportation. The solutions I'm really excited about right now are zero emission transportation. Uh, It's coming on faster than we expected. In the last few weeks, UPS ordered 10,000 electric delivery vehicles, and Amazon says it's ordering 100,000 electric delivery vans as well. Edmonton is running trials with electric buses and expect to put up to 40 into service in 2020. And so that's paved the way we now have many uh, transit authorities, Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal, looking at moving forward if they can get the resources on 100% electric bus initiatives. Montreal is also putting electric buses into service this year. We actually have some of the world's leading electric bus producers, Lion Electric Bus in Quebec, New Flyer in Manitoba, in British Columbia, Harbour Air just ran a flight, an electric seaplane flight. So we're seeing the energy transition is happening around us. Smith says the other emerging sector is green buildings. And with building codes expected to push for net zero ready by 2030, some of Edmonton's builders are among the best at building affordable, super efficient homes. We're seeing houses now that are being built, zero emission houses, uh, that are cutting energy bills by 90%. The fact that we can really crack the affordability issue and carbon issue at the same time. We have the technology to build zero emission buildings or near zero emission buildings. And that means lower heating bills, lower electricity bills for people. Part of the work Clean Energy Canada is doing is to define the clean energy sector. When they combine the clean energy solutions in a basket with the green building sector and track its progress, they found investment has reached $35.3 billion in 2017. And it's growing more than twice as fast as the rest of the economy. Marin says these numbers would improve more with some bold federal targets. We're hoping this government is going to set some national goals like that. You know, a million energy retrofits, 5,000 electric buses on the road, and so on. So that there's clear goals that we're working towards. It's going to put us on a path to meet our climate targets. Learn more and find links at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.